Hello, this is Alina. Welcome to my channel, Ditsy Blonde. I thought I would open a jewelry jar today, uh, mostly because my cat keeps tearing off the top, and I thought I'd better get it done. Um, I paid $50 for this. You can see where she was just tearing on it. So, first glance don't think there's really going to be much in here not expecting anything looks like a lot of watches yeah, it's like a Chico's watch um, but yeah that would give it a shot so uh, nice jar How's everybody doing? Uh, I am doing great. Just a little busy because of the holidays. Anybody get all their shopping done? I still have one gift to get. like somebody trying to dye this themselves. Let's pull out some stuff. Eh, mostly watches. Not the watches. We'll start with this beauty. Oh, it's missing the the thingy. <laughs> it's pretty. Oh, it's got the little tag on it. I guess it just needs a band. Still has that on there. A lot of sparkles are still there. So that's our first item. There's another watch. Oops, and an earring. Another one. This one just says China Movement. This thing's huge. Is this for a woman or a man? Look how big that is. This thing's huge. It does have extenders on it. And it still has the new little thing on there. And the plastic on the back. LB. Is that Lane Bryant? It would make sense. Does this one say something? No. Nope. Just quartz movement. And another one, an Amatron. This one's got a lot of wear. I can try to open it. I'm guessing this is a man's. Japan movement, water resistant to 166 feet. Looks like that would turn, but I can't get it to turn. So, how's everybody doing? I know I asked that already. I'm not losing my mind. It's just that time of year where everybody's either stressed from holiday shopping or, you know, going through stress. Oh, this is a Chico's.
remembering family that's passed. Can't tell if these were supposed to be brass. It looks like might have been. It's pretty worn. A lot of watches. There's another one. This one is a relic. Dial looks good. Dial looks good on that one too. Inside looks good. Got a pink dial. Feels like the plastic's still on it. But I could be wrong. I'm nope, still on it. I guess I just left it on. Any more watches? Oh, we got this one. This one is really weird. It's like cold. can't pull that out. It says Hamden. Ceramic. Ah, I guess this is the ceramic part. This one turns. Not sure what these are used for. Doesn't turn back just one way. This is a really nice watch. I'll have to look this one up. Looks like it's got little diamonds. And a date. Huh. Wow, really nicely made. What does it say here? Three ATM water resistant, high tech ceramic quartz movement, sapphire crystal. My guess is this is a really nice watch really well made. Dial looks good. Insides look good. Definitely an interesting one, right? Let's set aside some earrings. Tangles. I did this little questionnaire contest a while ago on most common things that are in a jar. Oh, this looks like silver. I was going to say rope chain is one of them. There's always a rope chain. Always, always a rope chain. I don't have my loop, but I do have magnifier. 925 mylor. 95 mile or it's even on the clasp and it says Italy on the other side. My lighting does not work in here. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of twisty. So, got some silver. Can you see that? Should I zoom in? There we go. And then this side, Italy. So that's nice. Rope chain. Faux pearl twisted necklace. Probably. What year was this? 80s, 90s? When people wore these? I'm not sure. Not sure. Let's get this big tangle monster out. Oh. I don't have my 
thing here. But I do have this one. But it's hard to see with this. Let's see if I can adjust. So it's got thread and plasticky. Everything's kind of plasticky. I do like these. I'll probably pull off some of this stuff to repurpose. Mostly these. I don't know about those. Because it has no name. It just is how I started doing jars. I wanted some designer beads and stuff that you can't get. Going to Hobby Lobby or Michael's. So I started scoping out jewelry they had at thrift stores. Sorry, I'm pulling out some earrings here. Lots of earrings. There's a little hummingbird. It's cute. It's not silver or anything. Oops. Is this a Templar's Cross? It's very sparkly. I don't know if, oops. Put this back down, sorry. Here's the hummingbird. It's got a red stone in the center. No name. It's in excellent condition though. A little dirty. But that's cute. I like the sparkly. Speaking of sparkly. Oh, the Chico's watch. Wow. I didn't see this one in there. I saw that big honking one. Glass looks good. Back looks good. All the stones are there. This is kind of a gray rhinestone and then the clear. Lots of watches. Another faux pearl necklace. Very lightweight. A Cross. I don't think it's anything, not even CZs or anything. Yeah, it just looks like rhinestones. Kind of cheapy. Can't seem to get my light right. this like a frosted glass beaded necklace good for repurposing or layering it's a nice piece let's look at this weird thing I think somebody tried to dye this. It's all busted. You know, don't think it's silver or anything. If I was to guess a metal, I'd say alpaca. But yeah, it's all busted. Definitely needs some soldering. But it looks like somebody tried to dye it. I wonder if that would come clean. I wonder if it's repairable. I wonder if it's worth my time. <laughs> kind of big. Oh, this is pretty. No make. 
stickers. Does need some cleaning. But that's nice. What do you think, huh? That's pretty. <clears throat> I do like this one. Let's make sure the class works. Whoops. Excuse my beastie boys there. I just fed them, so I was hoping they'd be more quiet. But, you know. That's nice. I like this. I thought it was going to be Sarah Coventry. Just kind of looks like Sarah Coventry. What's that? Is that a mark? No. No mark at all. That's a cool bracelet. I like that. Then we have a shell stretchy bracelet. Neutral colors. This whole jar is kind of neutral colors. Here's another shell. Bracelet kind of yellowy neutral. Oh, this is cool, but it's missing one, two, three, and this one's busted. And this one is. BSK. That's what it says right here. BSK. Would have been cool. I like the milk glass. As you know. I do like neutral colors. Kind of in that neutral color mood. Ooh. Hey. Right next to me. Huh, how about that? I was just taking pictures of these to put in my shop. It's not the same size. Definitely the exact same pendant, though. How cool. This one has got silver findings. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the tribe. Or, it is a tribe name. Um, only thing that comes to my head is Silver Tribe, but it, it's probably not right. Um, I've purchased a lot of their silver at the Denver Gem and Mineral Show. That's cool. They never mark them, though. So maybe it's not silver. We'll have to test it. It might be something like uh, alpaca. I see another Chico's. And more watches. Let's move this stuff over here. White House Black Market. That's nice. Just a little dirty. Still in good shape. Crystal's not scratched. It's kind of cool. A lot of watches. You know, I've never donated watches ever when I take my donations in. Here's a fossil watch. This one's in nice shape, too. I like Fossil Brand. It's got an extender. Two, oh, one, two, three extenders. Does it close? Yep. That's a nice watch. Very classy or classic shape. Any more watches? Yep, one more. This big one by Chico's. It's a stretchy. Looks kind of stretched out a little. I 
Other than that, it's in good shape. It's got like little pearls, but none of them are worn. They're still in good shape. This one has a little bit. Not really noticeable. It's got like a mother of pearl dial. I don't know, would you call this southwestern or what? So that makes how many Chico's? Also two so far. Three. Three Chico's. Three Chico's, one fossil, and one White House Black Market, and this one. This one I really want to check. Could be amazing. Some crazy earrings in here. Crazy, crazy. That's looking interesting. It's real pearls, fresh water, and then it has um, French wire in between. But no French wire here. <laughs> So, that's just an interesting piece. Can you see the French wire? Here's where it's kind of coming apart. Let's see how it is. This little, was that real? Might be real. Real broken. It looks like they painted it with a pearl eyes, but it definitely looks real. And then did that gold on there. He's cute. I might just repurpose that little guy. Here's a bracelet. It says, sell. Oh, Mary Kay. Got a dollar sign with little stones on it. Another little stone in that uh, Alex and Annie style. I kind of like the way they did this re this part here because it's kind of sparkly. I used to sell Mary Kay a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. They even went to Dallas for Mary Kay. Oh, I got a tingle here. Oh. I think I have a set of bracelets. I thought it was just necklaces. Is that it? These look like a set, though. Five bracelets with the gray abalone crystals, howlite, my crystals. It's all glass, except for the howlite, of course. Yeah. Mother of Pearl, this Mother of Pearl and the abalone, those are nice, 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 ah, this has got a magnet, that's why everything was sticking to it, another Chico's, Kind of reminds me of Brighton style. Right? So that makes one, two, three, four Chico watches. This is a Chico watch jar. It's just one of those real simple, no name, silver tone, 
necklace. It's in good shape. It's like new. Simple. Glass crystal stretchy. Yeah. I was looking at this one. Just one of those long necklaces. In gold tone and silver tone matte finish on both. Kind of like that uh, Anne Klein's matte. Has some wear on it. pretty worn. It's too bad it's cute. Not good for reselling, but I could probably wear it. Oh! Aha! Also, while we have this really long necklace with a clasp, this message is from Marcy. <laughs> Your video, why do long necklaces have a clasp? Because sometimes you want to wrap it around your neck more than twice. And you can do that with a third or with a clasp without choking yourself. So, there you go. Hi, Marcy, by the way. <laughs> I was watching her videos. Oh, there's a Brighton. I think I have this one. This looks really familiar. Live life from the heart. It looks, I think I have this one. If I haven't listed it, it's probably in my eBay box to list. Pretty sure I have this. I don't know if it says the same thing, but it looks really familiar. Hmm. Unexpected Brighton. These are all earrings. I'm going to stump out the last of this jar. Oh, more watches. <laughs> there we go. And of course, shells. I'll just throw that back in the jar. And I don't, I don't like the feel of this. Something. Not sure what this is, but it feels icky. feels kind of like nail files. Uh, fake puka necklace. This is the old one. Very dirty. There's the watches. One, two, three more watches. Let's see. This one is uh, looks like MCM. It's kind of got wear on it. I don't know if you can see that. Does that look like MCM? That's pretty worn. This is a guess watch. clasp here somewhere. There we go. That's where it says guess. First I thought it was Dolce Gabbana, but no. No D. Pretty worn. Crystal's got light scratching. It's dirty. And the last watch, Eddie Bauer, Eddie Bauer, so it's just dirty, and they're scratching on the, on the glass, so not so good. God, there's a lot of earrings in here. <laughs> there's this pearl necklace. That I'm not going to untangle. 
those faux pearls, long strand. Another shell. This one's kind of nice. It's got, not sure if that's real or vegan leather. Natural colored shells probably go really good with this bracelet. Maybe? Yeah. Summertime. A lot of people buy shell jewelry. I'm always amazed at how much shell jewelry there is. There's always shell jewelry. And I don't mean this kind of shell. It's just always shell and pearls. <laughs> and rope chains. Right? Oh, this says Brighton. But it feels doesn't feel Brighton y. Chain smooth. It's got some weight. This is really lightweight. I'd have to look this up. Because these just feel cheapy. So my guess is it's a knockoff. Sorry, I'm comparing here now. Yeah, I'm thinking knockoff. Let me look. Yeah, because this bee has like black in it. This one has like nothing. I don't know. I'm guessing knockoff because it's, it's like super lightweight. I'm going to have to look that one up. See what that's all about. This is pretty. Oh, look at that. It's like, oh, nice clasp. Doesn't say anything. But it's got a slider, so you can wear it like this. Or you can hang it for a Y. It's got little circles. It's kind of nice. If I can get this to lay on here right. Doesn't look that spectacular on here. But it's still nice. I like it. Ugh, all these earrings. We're going to have a lot of earrings to look at. There we go. Move that stuff out of the way. Another shell bracelet with pearls and crystals. And yeah, I don't think so. Please return to Tiffany and Company, New York. So my guess is fake Tiffany or somebody added that. Because it's not silver. And I just have this clear dangly necklace. Plastic. I like this chain. I like how it's like this. That's nice. Might repurpose that. Who knows? Then there's this one. It's not silver or anything. I think it's just some mixed metal, probably. This is definitely not. This has clear beads and silver. 
So there's that one. And we move on to earrings. Let's get these big honkers out of the way because these are huge. Look how long these are. So oh, there's those. <laughs> big long ones. And there's these. I think I've had these before too. They look pretty familiar. After a while everything starts to look the same, right? Oh, here's a necklace I missed. Kind of like a fake bright knockoff. Only because I have some Brighton necklaces that have like this on it. What are these earrings? These are cool. New maker. There's another pair. Missing a hook. Here's another pair of shells, of course. And it's looking like I got matches for all of them. These. These have a name. No, they have, they look kind of chico -ish. I could be wrong. It has happened before. I have some clip-ons. With the moon glow. These are pretty. Need some cleaning. You can see makeup in there. They have no name. Check both sides because sometimes they just mark one earring. So those are kind of cute. I think this goes with. The bracelets, right? I, this might be a pendant. And these, kind of smudge. Looks like my nails after I paint them all the time. <laughs> right? Silver ball. Stainless, I should say. Definitely not silver. No writing on them. And then these. These look like they should say something. But they don't. They're kind of pretty. Whoops. Kind of like a peacock colored, I don't know if they would be pearls or what, just balls. Then we have these. They're jingly. Oh, this is interesting. A fleur de lis. Looks like, um, I was going to say, like, you could put on a bra strap, but why? So I'm thinking maybe, like, a um, spaghetti strap top for a little extra bling. That makes sense to me, unless you can think of another reason why this would be there. Leave it in the comments. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Can you see that? This looks like a blank opal. Let me look. 925SV. Oh, look at the back. My guess is it is a black opal. Wow. Look at that flash. It's definitely not man-made. Because the f different colors are all over the place. Let me zoom in here so you can see. Oops. 
where it says SV925. I can see my dry hands. <laughs> but see that? It's definitely not a man made opal. Wow. That's probably the best find in here. I'll have to look this up. Pretty, pretty. A lot of blue and red gold colors. Wow. This star was pretty good. Um, that's earrings, matches, my favorite things, definitely. This right here is one. I love this bracelet. It's super cool. I'm going to look up this watch because I have never seen one like this. Uh, what else we got in here? Got a lot of watches, a lot of shells, um, a lot of Chico's watches. These are all Chico's. A little bit of silver right here and here. White House Black Market, a lot of watches. And then this fossil watch. I like these clear beads too. And I like this little speckly. Oh. And this. I'm trying to remember what that's called. Something silver tribe. Tribal silver. Can't remember. I will put it the information in the in the details. So tell me what you think. Think it was a good jar? I don't know. There was something in here my cat was really interested in. Well, I decided to open it because she kept tearing the tape. So we'll see what she picks out of here, right? Oh, I like this necklace too. This one. This one's pretty cool. Nicely made. Silver tones and creamy colors. Oh, all these. Oh, I guess I should put this in here. You know, a lot of people like Brighton. I'm kind of on, on the fence about Brighton. I've heard people say Brighton sells, Brighton sells. But Brighton sells after a while <laughs> when they offer. So they always offer, well, which is fine. I don't care. So that's it. Oh, can't forget this little baby. That's it. So happy to be back. I do have another jar sitting down here um, that I'll open. Doesn't look really great, but you know, who knows? It could be something. So I hope everybody's, you know, having a good holiday, enjoying life to the fullest. You know, what you can. Remember, if you're drinking from the stress, don't drive. <laughs> sometimes life gets stressful, especially around this time. So just take it easy. And um, give me a thumbs up. Um, stay blessed. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And bye-bye.